Are you trying to make a video to share your science, but are having trouble with your own camera delivery? Do you come across as listless or dull or lacking in confidence? If so, this video may help. When I began making videos, I didn't think a lot about how I looked and sounded on camera. I was an experienced speaker, having given more than 100 conference talks and seminars over the years. Instead of helping, though, that training in how to speak to an audience of scientists, not showing any emotion and being so serious, can be disastrous in a video. What I did not realize was how important it is to be more energetic and more demonstrative when being filmed. If your energy level is low, your video will not be as effective because you're sending a nonverbal message to the viewer that you are not enthusiastic or passionate or confident about your topic. So why should they care about your video? Another problem is that when you're talking to the camera, you don't have the feedback of an audience, which makes it really difficult to get your energy level up to where it needs to be. In addition, if you feel uncomfortable speaking on camera, and many people do at first, your difficulty may come across to the viewer as a lack of confidence or some other problem. And you probably heard that the camera can add 10 pounds. Well, the camera can also take away your energy. So what can you do about this? First, you need to be aware of how you come across on camera. Film yourself speaking to the camera and then carefully review the footage, no matter how painful. You might be shocked as to how you come across on film, but you'll see what you need to change. Second, you need to get your energy level up, which requires getting out of your comfort zone. Force yourself to speak more loudly, to be more animated, to use broader gestures than you would typically use when speaking. Now, I realize that this can be very difficult, especially for those of you who are somewhat quiet and shy, like I am. Speaking in a more animated way and using more exaggerated gestures will feel totally over the top and incredibly awkward. This is normal. If you don't feel uncomfortable when you first try to raise your energy level, you're not doing it right. But I guarantee that if you try this, you will very likely look and sound much better and more engaging in the resultant footage. Then compare it to your original footage. You'll be amazed at how much better you come across, even if it feels wrong during filming. What feels exaggerated to you will actually look good on camera, making you seem more engaged with the viewer and passionate about your topic. Third, it helps to imagine your audience when talking to the camera. Most people are more animated and speak in a more conversational tone when giving a talk to a live audience or just telling their story to someone. So when speaking on camera, pretend you're having an animated conversation with a friend and that you are really excited to be sharing your views with them. Four, practice until you feel comfortable. And be sure you are looking right into the camera and not shifting your eyes all around. Well, those are just a few tips to help you improve your performance on camera. As I said, learning to be more animated and engaging on camera is really difficult, but with practice, it can become second nature and not feel so strange. Remember, connecting with your viewers is important, and being more engaging on camera will help you do this. And who knows, learning to raise your energy level in videos may give you more confidence and a better stage presence in other stressful speaking situations. For more tips and tutorials about making videos, check out my blog or my ebook, The Scientist Videographer. And thanks for watching.